So, you want to know about the BBC Symphony Orchestra? Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Mixcraft. It's been a while uh, since we've been here in, in the mix, uh, mixing of crafts. But uh, Spitfire, which is one of my favorite <laughs> places ever, um, just recently released this completely free, yes, once again I just say completely free, um, Orchestra VST. Uh, that they've been pumping up recently, they've been talking about it a lot, they said they were going to be releasing it, uh, and you had to sign up for, like, a cool pre-order thing, um, and you would get it after a certain time, uh, for free, and if you want to get it instantly, you can pay for it. I will leave down in the description all of the information. I believe you can still get this for free, you just have to wait, like, 14 days, I think it is. Something like that. Anyway. Either you get it for free and you wait 14 days or you buy it for, I think the cheapest one is $50, which is still not that bad at all. I mean, these sounds are really high quality. So, as you can see, we have a bunch of different groups here on the orchestra. We have violins 1, violins 2, we have some violas, and, and a bunch of different uh, trumpets and tubas and just a bunch of percussion, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, wind instruments here as well. Just really nice stuff. They all sound absolutely phenomenal. Just real quick, we'll go through a couple of them here. So we have the default violins, which is violins one. They sound absolutely phenomenal. We have different actual types of playing as well over here. We have different types of techniques. So we have uh, a bunch of different cool stuff here. So I can do like this. We also have pizzicato and tremolo. Very, very cool stuff. And over here on the uh, left-hand side, we have some uh, dy dynamics we can mess with as well. So we have the actual expression uh, kind of level, not level, what's the word I'm looking for? Controller, that's, that's what I'm looking for. The level controller here, um, where you can... Kind of control the uh, velocity of um, of each uh, uh, note here, so I can kind of have like a you know, like a score. You know how like builds. So we start off like down here, and then oh no, oh no, Jaws is coming in, guys. It's very cool. Anyway, and then this right here, this is uh, the dynamics, the actual dynamics. So if I play something really hard like this, kind of turn that down. See, it's being it's much softer. Very cool. So we have both of these. They kind of work in conjunction. Um, very, very cool. So uh, that is that. And this, this is just reverb. Most of these are reverb. You cannot change this. Um, in, in Spitfire Audio Labs, you can change this to different like, types of uh, controls here. But this is only reverb in, in uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra. Let me put that on long. A little bit of reverb run there. Very cool. So we have uh, that, and of course, really quickly, we have more violins. Horns. Very cool stuff. So these are just really, really nice. And of course, oh, all up here, we have all of the presets. You can just go, scroll through on a list. I love wind instruments. Just real quick. Absolutely beautiful. Just super high quality stuff that that Spitfire just releases. It's insane. It's just crazy the kind of stuff that they do. It's just, I don't even understand. But their stuff is so phenomenal. Up here we have the default uh, Spitfire audio stuff, which is, of course, tune. Uh, you can change the sense. You can change the panning from left to right. And you can change the volume as well. And up here we have just, you know, some other settings and interface, whatnot, and stuff like that if you really do want to change some stuff here. So very, 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 very cool free uh, plugin that you can get right off of uh, SpitfireAudio.com. Very, very cool stuff. Up here, we also have Harp and Celeste, which is very cool stuff. So we have, under this, same, under this one section of the orchestra, we have Harp and Celeste. So right now, if I play some Harp, we have that, then I can switch over to Celeste. 
Now, unfortunately, just like many uh, orchestra VSTs, you can see some areas of the keyboard are not allowed because the instrument does not go down or up that high. For instance, we have these default violins here. They don't go up all the way, and they don't go down all the way. So if you're playing something way down here, it's not going to play. You have to at least be right there. That's the last key that it plays. So, uh, it's unfortunate, but that's, that's how it goes. I mean, it's actually more realistic to be that way because if they were to pull and push the octaves down it would just be them taking this sound and then just like pitching it downwards and then it's going to get weird and it's going to sound distorted and that's not too good so it's better just to have it you know with the keys and the notes that the uh violins can actually play so very cool go try it out for yourself i just really kind of wanted to um touch on it look at this into that Woo. there's a war going on big battle anyway um very very cool just go check it out like i said i believe you can still get it for free if you cannot it is 50 dollars. i think the lowest one is the standard version which is insanely cheap compared to other uh vsds especially orchestra vsds it's crazy but yeah i hope you ladies and gentlemen did not know about this and i hope you now know about it now i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye